Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the manifest file in Odoo 60. Let me explain you about the purpose of the manifest file in your Odoo apps. The manifest file is one of the basic building blocks on a Odoo module. The basic information about the module is stored inside the manifest file. Manifest file is placed directly inside the main module folder of the Odoo app. The manifest file structure is well defined and strict norms are needed to be followed while creating a manifest file. So as you can see here that I've developed a custom module called company management. So I'll be showing you how to create the manifest file for this custom module that you're creating in your Odoo 16. For that, let me go to the backend here. And this is my custom module that is the company management. And I've created a directory called custom where I've given it in the conf file I've given the path of the custom module to run my custom modules here so after giving the path you can just give the custom module that you're creating inside the path that you've given and here I've given a directory called company management and inside the directory, I have created a manifest file and an init file. So this init file would import the models. So I have given the directory called models here to give my Python files. So I have defined the Python files here inside the models. And I have given the manifest file here. So inside the manifest file, I've given some details about the custom module that I've created. So let's discuss about the details that I've given inside the custom manifest of my custom module. And here I've given the name of my custom module that I've created, that is the company management. So if you go to the UI, the name that you have given in the manifest would be displayed here, as you can see. The company management has been displayed here and let me go back. You can specify the version of the custom module that I'm creating in the manifest. So here I have created a custom module and the Odo 16. So I've given the version number as specified for Odo 16. And down here you can see that I've given the summary for your custom module you can provide the summary for your custom module and you can also specify the description for your custom module so that the users can easily understand the use or the purpose of the custom module that you are creating and here in the categories you need to provide the category to which this custom module that you are creating belongs to and this category is the category that you see in the Odoo app store so you need to give the suitable category that is suitable for your custom module according to the Odoo app store so if you go to the Odoo app store you can easily see the categories that are available and you can give the specified or the suitable category to your custom module and here you can specify the author for your custom module and here I have given the company and the maintainer of this custom module and down here you can add the depends for this custom module and if you have any depending module that uh, depends on the other custom module that I've created you can also specify the depends for your custom module so here I've specified some of the custom module uh, depending modules that I've given for my custom module here and down here in the data you can specify all the XML files and the CSV files that you are creating in your custom module so I have given some XML files that 
I have specified here in the data and if you have the banner for your custom module you can specify the path for the banner that you have given in the description so you can specify the path for your banner here uh, as you can see that I have given the directory called static and inside that I have given the description and inside that I have given the banner for my custom module so I have given the path for the banner here in the manifest and according to your module you can specify the licensing that is the Odoo licensing here so as I have given the licensing for this app as AGPL and you can also specify the version of your licensing and you can specify it here in the manifest that you have created for your custom module and down here I have also given some details about the installations you can see that if the module is installable you can give it as true here or if it's not you can give it as false and if your module is auto installable you can give it as true you can specify it as true here so as my module is not auto installable I have given it as false and here in the application so if your custom module that I have created is an application in the Odo you can give it specify it as true or if it's not an application the, you can just give it as false here and if you go to the UI if you go here in the model module info you can see some of the informations that is the licensing that I have given in the manifest here you can see the technical name so the technical name you can see and here you can see the summary that I have given for your custom module and if you go to the technical data here so I have not upgraded it I'll just run the code here and I'll just upgrade this so once I upgrade this I'll just go to the app and I'll just go to the info here and here you can see the summary that I've given for the module here so as you can see that I've given the summary you can see the summary that I've given in the manifest you can see the licensing that I've given is AGPL so you can see it here and the latest version you can see the version that I've specified here is seen in the UI and you can see the technical data here so as you have given the application to be true you can see it is ticked and as I've given it as installable you can see the status is installable here and you can see the creative menus here for this custom module so this is how you specify your manifest file for your custom module in Odoo 16. That's all for today. Thank you.